Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can add a reference line to Power BI chart. Now, adding a reference line is a very common way of showing a threshold. For example, let's say you have a sales target of maybe $5,000 every month or $7,000. Or you may have like multiple sales target like 3000 is the minimum target then 5000 is medium and 7000 is maximum just giving you some example as to why you would need a reference line similarly whenever you have you want to show in your chart any type of threshold then in that case you would require a reference line and i will show you how you can add it very easily and before i move ahead just a quick information that this sheet is present in the description where you can use it very easily by clicking on the link and you can search uh, any of my previously created video also since it is a live sheet or a live google sheet i will keep on adding more and more my future videos over here so keep it as your bookmark as your learning material for power bi where you can search any of my tutorial and use this link to jump to those tutorial easily with that let's move on to the power bi so here we are within the power bi so if you see what we have is uh, sales like january sales is ninety four thousand dollars fifty nine thousand is the fab and uh, two million is what you have in march one million and then altogether in september it has jumped to three million so let's say we have uh, first mark as uh, as over seventy thousand dollars as a mark as a reference line somewhere over here then we have like uh, uh, close to 1.8 million and the third line is 3 million as our three target like I, what i was explaining so to do that we need to make sure that the chart is selected and over here if you see what i'm doing is nothing but this is the month on the x-axis and values on the y-axis and just a tool tip to show along with the sales what is the quantity sold all right so i'll just come over here on the analytics pane and you will see that you have a lot of different lines and i will show you in a different video as to there are different lines but for now what is the constant line well constant line is based on the constant figure which i told you so first value is what seventy thousand dollars so what you have is a line over here seventy thousand dollars now it is a blue line as you can see the color is blue also before i show you uh, which is a very easy way to change the color you have this fx icon which allows you to enter an expression well that's also i think uh, is a is a great option or a great way to add dynamic lines and that dynamic lines i will keep it for my separate video so but for now what do we have is the seventy thousand dollars over here let's say the line is maybe this um 30 percent darker right so somewhere here and what do we have is a transparency if you want to make it like a little bit more and now it's completely gone a little bit dark so that way i think 20 percent or 22 percent is fine you can set the line style whether you want dashed or you want solid or you want dotted i think dotted is good uh position is it's on the front of the bar or you can take it on the back or behind so that it's just there but it is not taking a lot of your eye attention also you can enable or disable the data labels so data labels are enabled as you can see it is seventy thousand uh, dollars you can change the data labels again let's say to black so you get the seventy thousand dollars what do you have is the data value you can have the name you can have both constant line this is the constant line you can double click and change minimum minimum sales so that way you will have something called something better uh, as a name for this line also a couple of more options like what is a position left you will have right that means over here but uh, the vertical position above or below or under right and display unit uh, let's keep it let's say in thousand so that way it is 70k right uh, decimal places this this is by default auto and you can basically choose if you have a different options like one digit or two digit or three digit 
depends on that. So what I'll do is, since it is showing 70.0, that doesn't make a lot of sense, so I'll keep it zero. So that way, it's just now 70K. All right, uh, if you want to add more line, again, the option is here, add, and we will say mid, or medium sales, or, or average sales, something like that. And the value, let's say we want to keep it as 1.7 million or 170, sorry, 170 thousand dollars, $70,000, yeah. And now I will make it slightly more dark, right? So now it is more darker. I will keep the transparency same as that, 22%, and I will keep this also dotted. So now it is like this is this. Now let's keep the third line at maybe 3 million, which is the higher one. So add another line, three, uh, sorry, $300,000. So that way it is somewhere here. All right. So with that, you have this color. I will make it slightly more darker. Same thing, 22% transparency, I will apply it. Oops, what are you doing? Okay, two, two, two. Huh. Let's do it from here. Way much better. Dotted uh, position, let's say behind. So that way, I can continue basically adding more and more line. I will just double check, double click, and I will say max sales. So that way, I can keep selecting. So if I want to make changes to any of the line, I will just select that and continue making the changes as I want, right? So with that, um, I will just leave it uh, and I'll meet you in the next video. But that's mainly I want to show how you can add the constant line uh, to your chart to make it more interactive and more useful for your end user. Thank you.